Welcome to the English virtual class. The topic for today is grammar, modal verbs, the infinitive and ing form. Let's begin. The modal verbs. What can we say about the models? Modal verbs don't take s, ing or ed, are followed by bare infinitive, come before the subject in questions and are followed by not in negative sentences, not always have tenses. Now, let's learn which are the modal verbs. Modal verbs that express obligation, duty, necessity, must, have to, should, ought to. If you use must, you know that the obligation is from inner you. If you use have to, the obligation is outer. Someone is making you do something or maybe a situation. If you use should or ought to, it is not as strong as must or have to. Possibility, can, could, may or might. Can is used for general possibility. Could, may or might are used mainly in specific situations. Absence of necessity. Don't have to, don't need to, needn't have plus past participle. If you use don't have to or don't need to, it means that you are not obliged to do something. If you used needn't have plus past participle, it means that something in the past has happened, but it wasn't necessary. Advice, should or ought to. Ability in ability, can or can't, could, was able to, couldn't, wasn't able to. If you use can, you use it in the, in the present or maybe in the future. If you use could, you use it for the past. Was able to is also used for the past, but for specific situation in the past. Let's see offers and suggestions. Which modal verbs are used for offers and suggestions? Can, would, shall, or could. Probability, the modal verbs that are used for probability. Will, should, ought to. If you use will, you are totally sure for something to happen. Should or ought to, you are not totally sure that something can happen or will happen. Permission prohibition. You can use can and may to give permission or to ask for permission. Mustn't. It means that something is prohibited to happen. Can't. It means that something can't happen. Logical assumption deductions. Must, may, might, could, mustn't and can't. If you use must, you are totally sure that something is the way you think it is. If you use may, might, could, you think that something is the way it is, mustn't or can't, you are totally sure that something can't be the way it is thought to be. Let's do an exercise, let's practice. Rewrite the sentences using models. You are not allowed to enter the lab. It's possible that Paul will be late for the party. When I was 10, I wasn't able to ski. I advise you to find a summer job and save money. It isn't necessary for Julie to apologize to me. It's a good idea to take up a hobby. Don't litter the streets, it's against the law. You are allowed to eat in here. It is okay if I leave now? He's obliged to wear a suit at work. Now let's see the correct answers. You mustn't or can't enter the lab. Paul may be late for the party. When I was 10, I couldn't ski. You should or ought to find a summer job and save money. 
Julie doesn't have to or needn't apologize to me. You should or ought to take a hobby. You mustn't or can't litter the streets. You can or may eat in here. May, could I leave now? He has to wear a suit at work. Now a frequently used question in English language. Should I use the to infinitive or the ing form? Let's see. Firstly, let's see about the infinitive. The tenses of the infinitive are present, present continuous, perfect, perfect continuous. The infinitive, the to infinitive, it's used to express purpose. John went to school to pick up his children. After certain verbs that refer to the future, such as agree, appear, decide, expect, hope, plan, promise, refuse, etc. Mary expected me to help her for the English test. After, would like, would prefer, would love, etc. I would love to meet your grandparents. After adjectives that describe feelings, emotions, willingness, unwillingness, or refer to a person character. And the adjectives lucky and fortunate. He was lucky to have escaped the accident. After two or enough, the tea is too hot to drink. After it plus be plus adjective or noun, it is very kind of you to help me in the expressions. To tell you the truth, to be honest, to sum up, to begin with, etc. Now, the infinitive without to or the bare infinitive, it's used after modal verbs, you must always tell the truth. After the verbs, let, make, see, hear and feel. My parents let me go to parties at weekends. Note, in the English used in America, so American English, help, is normally followed by the bare infinitive. If two to infinitives are linked by the conjunctions and or or, the two of the second sentence can be omitted. Or the second infinitive can be omitted. The ing form is used to form nouns or as a noun. Running is very healthy for the body. After verbs such as admit, appreciate, avoid, consider, continue, deny, go, for activities, imagine, mind, miss, quit, save, suggest, practice, or prevent. Example, my sister suggested watching a movie together. To express general preference after the verbs like, love, hate, etc. I love reading books. They relax me. After expressions such as be busy, it's no use, it's no good, or it's not worth, what's the use of, can't help, there's no point in, can't stand, have difficulty in, have trouble, etc. Example, there's no point in leaving early. You are going to get caught in traffic. After, spend, waste, lose. I wasted all my time doing nothing. Now I don't know how to finish the project. After the preposition to with verbs and expressions such as look forward, to be or get used to in addition to object to prefer to. Example, I like the new neighborhood. I am getting used even to walking more. After other prepositions, 
he is interested in knowing more about this new technology. It's used after the verbs hear, listen to, notice, see, watch and feel to describe an incomplete action. Example, I heard my brother starting the car to leave. But we use the bare infinitive with these verbs to describe the complete action. I heard my brother start the car and leave. So I heard him go away. This is the complete action. Let's practice. Put the verbs in brackets into the to infinitive or the ing form. She remembers the doll before leaving the house. Remember, you have to use call George when you arrive at the airport. She tried a meeting with the company president, but he was always busy. You have to use a range. Have you tried a study group to help you up at, to catch up at school? You have to use join. I stopped to my neighbor on my way to the supermarket. You have to use talk. Diane stopped when Fred entered the room. You have to use talk. We forgot some old friends to our wedding. You have to use invite. I'll never forget the piano for the first time. You have to use play. Now let's see the correct answers. She remembers locking the door before leaving the house. Remember to call George when you arrive at the airport. She tried to arrange a meeting with the company president, but he was always busy. Have you tried joining a study group to help you catch up at school? I stopped to walk to talk to my neighbor on my way to the supermarket. Diane stopped talking when Fred entered the room. We forgot to invite some old friends to our wedding. I'll never forget playing the piano for the first time. Thank you very much for your attention.